David here with Fig Mood on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review and a giveaway. I'll actually be giving away two pens. Um, what I have for you today is the latest release from Bennu called Skulls and Roses. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of these pens. Uh, actually, I have the three different models in the collection to show you. I'll talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about the pens. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Bennu for providing these three pens you will see today for review. And as I mentioned, two of them will be given away to viewers. So stay tuned to learn how you can make one of these pens your very own, even before you can purchase it. Uh, the planned launch for these pens is October 31st. I appreciate that Bennu was able to get these pens out my way a little bit early so I could produce this review a few days before they're released. That's not always possible, but it's much appreciated. So let's take a look at some pens. The pen arrives in this standard Bennu box. Uh, inside there is a thin kind of a cardboard stock sleeve. And inside we have a pen. This is the Skulls and Roses. Uh, the, this collection is comprised of three different models. There is the Crow, which is all black. The Red Rose, which you can see here is all red. And finally, there is the Smolder, where the barrel and cap are black and the band as red. And here they all are. Uh, there are some under the hood variations between these models that I'll give you a closer look at during the size comparisons. Uh, but for the sake of the review, uh, let's go ahead and focus on the Smolder. Um, they are molded from an acrylic resin. The cap and barrel have a raised rose pattern. You know, I like that the pattern includes the stems and thorns as well. I also like that the roses vary in size and that there's no discernible repeating pattern either on the cap or the barrel. Uh, the texture behind the barrel is a nice detail as well. You know, I was debating whether or not I would prefer the raised elements of this pen to have some more visual separation and uh, increased definition. Um, the imagery is quality and done really well, but for me, a lot of the artistic elements on this pen really don't stand out as much to me unless I kind of catch the pen in the right light. I don't really have a suggestion for that, but it's just something I noticed. A couple of years ago, Bennu did have a pen called the Tattoo, which colored the background, uh, but I really wasn't certain that that would look the best on this particular model. Um, I have a Tattoo with me, and I will show you what that looks like during the size comparisons. Uh, let's take a look at the end of the cap. Uh, it is rounded. The cap angles up pretty much for the entire length until you reach the cap band, which is the skulls element on this Skulls and Roses pen. Uh, the red resin is slightly translucent, not a ton, but you can get a little peek at what's going on underneath there. The transition from cap to barrel is fairly smooth. The barrel then tapers down at a fairly even angle until you get to the end where, like the top of the cap, it is rounded. The cap twists off in just over a single rotation, and underneath we have a stainless steel number 5 Schmidt nib. Uh, the nib options on this pen will be extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, the section begins with a very slight flare. It angles up until you reach the threads, then we have a step up to the barrel, and then another step up to the remainder of the barrel. The section is rather narrow at the beginning, but angles up, so if you prefer a thicker section, it provides you the option to grip the section a bit further back. Um, I don't find the resin section to be slick at all, so I'm able to grip it toward the middle or back of the section without my grip slipping and traveling forward. Uh, the pen is long enough for me to use unposted. It does kind of post, but with the raised pattern on the barrel, posting is not particularly secure. It uh, feels a bit awkward, so I prefer to use this pen unposted. Um, you can feel the prominent texture of this pen on the inside of your hand. While it is rather bumpy, the texture isn't sharp or uncomfortable on my hand, but you can definitely feel it. Uh, this pen accepts standard international long and short cartridges. A long cartridge is included with the pen as well as a converter. 
The Bennu Skulls and Roses will be available at a large number of retailers beginning on October 31st, and the price will be $163, which I feel is a reasonable price for what this pen brings to the table. Um, I've used this pen a great deal over the last couple of weeks, and it's really grown on me. This is an interesting offer from Bennu. There are a lot of Bennu models which aren't for everyone. Many have elements of sparkle and glitter that don't necessarily appeal to some folks. Um, I've always appreciated that Bennu isn't afraid to try new things. I mean, uh, they did come out with that parrot pen a few years ago that was rather disturbing. But you know what? If you are coming out with lots of new designs, not every single one is going to be a home run. And they have come out with many designs that don't match up with my personal preferred aesthetic, but this Skulls and Roses is a bit different. Um, it kind of has a cool and interesting theme, um, it's reasonably priced, and it really performs nicely as well. So it's something that I care for. Thanks again, go out to Bennu for providing these pens for review. Uh, in regard to the giveaway, I will be giving away uh, two of these pens. Uh, I'll be giving away the All Black Crow and the All Red Rose. Using the Google form has worked well for giveaways, so I'll put a link to one in the notes below. There you will leave your name, your email address, and answer an optional question. Uh, you can leave a comment here on the video, but understand that doesn't enter you into the contest. Uh, but please also remember that there are still active scammers who will reply to your comment telling you that you won and to contact them on like a third-party app like WhatsApp. Uh, typically, those will be oddly worded and have lots of emojis in them. Uh, know that I will contact the winner via the email address you provide. But also be aware that if you're someone who receives email notifications when someone replies to your comments on YouTube, that that could ha happen as well. I've had several occasions where viewers thought that I had emailed them, but it was actually a notification from YouTube about someone replying to their comment. In regard to the optional question, I keep threatening to do a Pen Pet Peeves video, so why don't you let me know what your top Pen Pet Peeve is. I'll compile the answers and share some of them during the Pet Peeves video. Okay, enough administration issues. In regard to these pens, it is now time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Bennu Skulls and Roses. This one again was the Smolder version. And then here is the All Red, Red Rose. And then finally here is the All Black Crow. Now I said that there was some variations between these models. For the Red Rose, the Red Rose has a red section uh, as well as having a gold colored nib. Uh, and then the crow has the black section and the silver nib. And then you can see here on the smolder that it has the red section and the silver colored nib. Okay, in regard to some size comparisons with some Bennu pens, I had mentioned that uh, I had the tattoo, which is this model here. And this one used the technique of coloring the background. And like I had mentioned, I'm not quite sure if that would work for the uh, skulls and roses, if that would look nice or not. Maybe let me know what your opinion is in the comments. But uh, that was just another way of doing that and making it stand out. But in regard to a couple of other Bennu pens, we have the Talisman Four Leaf Clover. Uh, and then finally, we have the Euphoria Polar Knight. I've shown this before, but uh, that Bennu has been doing a really nice job lately on some limited edition pens that are only available on their site with some uh, uh, hand painted elements on it. Uh, and this one actually glows in the dark. I've shown this in the past, but that's what it looks like in comparison to the Skulls and Roses. And in regard to some non-Bennu pens, then here it is with a Lamy All-Star. And here it is with a Pilot Prera. And then finally here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, uh, this is what it looks like with that Euphoria. You can see that it's a much smaller pen. Here it is with a Diamond 580. And here it is with that All Star.
And something I really didn't mention in the review is Bennu's name is actually here uh, on the cap as well. You can see there's the B and then there's the E and then you go over to the N over here and the U. It's just kind of scattered there on the barrel. And so it's interesting that they do that in a different way that I've seen them do on any of their other pens. Okay, here we go with a writing sample for the Bennu Skulls. and roses. This particular nib is an extra fine. And the ink I'm using today is Robert Oster. Rust Orange. This is what the ink looks like. It's a nice uh, vibrant orange. Uh, this is what it looks like in comparison to another Robert Oster orange, which is the Penatic Fire on Fire. Uh, and then finally, here it is with Leonardo Orancio Tarocco. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, this particular color is actually exclusive to Galen Leather. So if you'd like to check it out, you could do so on the Galen Leather site. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. I've mentioned this several times before, but I'm not the biggest fan of fine and extra fine nibs, but I will say that this one is rather enjoyable, that I don't find it to be, you're get, you can get a little bit of line variation out of there, but I don't find it to be overly scratchy or sharp, which a lot of extra fine nibs for me are. Um, in regard to the ink flow, it's decent here. In regard to reverse writing, It is a little sharp in reverse writing, but then in regard to some fast writing. The feed has no issue in keeping up. And like I said, I do, uh, I am fond of this extra fine nib. I think it will be something that I will use moving forward. So there we have the Bennu Skulls and Roses. They're all three models here. Uh, I think that they are something that are uh, interesting for the price uh, and a decent value uh, and uh, an interesting addition to the Bennu lineup. So don't forget to uh, use the link in the notes below to the Google form in order to win one of these pens for yourself. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'll be giving away this uh, red rose as well as the uh, crow version right here. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.